Hey guys, we're here to gaming here, and this is going to be the last part of the text adventure tutorials because I feel like after this tutorial, you guys will have a good enough understanding of how text adventure games actually work inside the consoles, and you'll be able to do it on your own and figure stuff out. So in this last tutorial, I'm going to just go be going over a quick little sort of inventory um, system. And the way inventory systems will, will be working is that after you pick something up, all you're going to do is define a variable that is equal to 1 or whatever you want it to be. And then later down the line, what it's going to do is it's, it's going to check that variable. And if the variable is 1 or whatever it is, that means you have it. And you can base decisions of what your game's going to say off of if you have it or not. So I'm going to do a quick uh, rundown of this game. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how the, how the game is actually looking inside the command. Then I'm going to go over how I coded it. So, first, you are in a forest. You see a small gem in the distance. Do you go towards the gem? I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because I want to go towards the gem. You go towards the gem. The gem is shiny. Do you take the gem? Yes. You put the gem in your backpack. You see a cave in the distance. Do you go towards it? Yes. There is a square engravement near the entrance, big enough to fit a rock. Do you put your gem in the engravement? This is where I ended off coding, and anything past here just closes it after you hit enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and run it again and show you the other path you can take. Do you go towards the gem? No. You leave the gem alone. Do you see it came in the distance. Do you go towards it? Yes. I have not coded um, what happens if you hit no just yet, but I don't think I'm going to need to because you can sort of get the gist of it. You hit yes. There is a square engravement near the entrance big enough to fit a rock. While pondering what the engravement meant, a bear came out of the cave and attacked you. You have died. Game over. Now, I ended the game short here just because I just really needed to use this as a small example of how inventory works. So, I'm going to go ahead and go over everything that I coded and why I coded it. At the top here, you see console.writeline. I'm going to go ahead and ignore right, uh, this whole area. It's going to tell you what's in the text. You see a small forest. You see a small... You're in a small forest. You see a small gem in the distance. You do you go towards the gem. This is the beginning information that you see. And then all these uh, blank console at right lines are basically to, to space out um, the paragraphs. So you see how when you type it's, a line, it's two lines below that and when you hit enter it's two lines below that. If you didn't have it it would just be all line after line and it looks a little uglier. So I just use those for spacers. Um, over here I defined answer as the read line. So in this if command, if you typed yes when it hit, do you go towards the gem? If you typed yes and hit enter, then this code is going to execute here that says you go towards the gem. The gem is shiny. Do you take the gem? Now, it's also going to be defining another variable, gem answer. You can make variables whatever you want. I just use this so I know what I'm talking about when I'm defining them. And it's going to go ahead and do the same thing as gem answer is going to be the same thing, console.readline. So whatever you typed after um, you uh, do you take the gem, whatever you type, that's going to be stored as gem answer. And so again, if gem answer is yes, meaning you want to go towards the gem, then it's going to say you put the gem in your backpack. Now, saying this by itself doesn't mean anything to the game. It's just telling the user whatever you want to put in. However... I put in the command gem equals 1. And now this gem equals 1 will only happen when you hit yes to taking the gem. So now in the console's memory, it has a variable that's named gem that's equal to 1. Okay, here's where it gets a little confusing, and I'm sorry if I'm confusing you a little bit, but when you're dealing with uh, text-based adventures, it's much easier to code it than explain what you've coded because you have a bunch of if then else commands and you sort of have to know what each of them refers to. So I'm going to restart here what I was saying. If gem answer is yes, meaning you took the gem, then you put the gem in your backpack. However, if it's not yes, meaning it's anything else like no, if it's anything but yes, it's going to say you leave the gem alone. Now here, it's going to say, do you go towards the gem? Uh, you're going to say, if you're going to say no, because it's going to say down here, 
If the answer is no, then it's going to say you leave the gem alone and end everything over here. So this whole thing is ended after you leave the gem alone. And then after that, it's going to go on to this part of the code that says you see a cave in the distance, so you go towards it. And we're going to define cave as a new answer, because we can't use the same one as before. We're defining cave as read line. And then if you said yes to going towards the cave, which you can't, which you have to, because um, I didn't code no, it's going to say there is a square engravement near the entrance big enough to fit a rock. Now here is where the inventory if then else command comes up. What what I have coded here is if gem equals one. Now gem equals one is up here that get that gets executed after you take the gem. If gem is equal to one, um, it's going to ask you if you want to put your gem in the engravement. However, else meaning if you, gem is not equal to one, or if any other circumstance other than gem being equal to one, it's going to say while pondering what the engravement meant, a bear came out of the cave and attacked you. You have died game over. So this really doesn't really matter what's going on over here, but this is saying this will only execute if you took the gem. And in the player's mind, what it's saying is if you took the gem when you went to sea and you put it in your backpack, meaning if you have a gem in your backpack, then it's going to ask you if you want to put your gem in the engravement. Now, it's okay if this doesn't fully make sense. Go ahead and rewatch the video if you need to, and just look at the code and try to understand why everything's coded the way it is. Keep in mind, you can use gem equals one whenever you want. For example, you can go through an entire cave, not do anything, and then it'll, it'll say um, you can use the gem to go here. Most of the time you want it to be optional, because you don't want to go through the entire cave again, because that's a lot of coding. But however much time you want to put into it, you can make the game as um, precise and detailed as you want. So that's, that's going to end the text adventure games tutorial. If you need anything else cleared up for you, if you want a uh, specific, it's a hard word to say, specific part of coding with games explained to you, meaning... Uh, any syntax, anything you don't understand, go ahead and request it and I'll try to do my best to explain it to you in the simplest way possible. Other than that, I'm Beauty Game and I'm signing out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please go ahead and like, comment, favorite, or subscribe if you haven't already.